So, it's a long cranial whisper that defines this cusp. We breathe on, wondering through the kitchens of salvation. Thank God for civilization. Thank God for your ubiquitous global eternal civilization. Whatever happens even under God, there will be a protectorate for a, a huge multitude who believe, even in the dark future when there are no seeds and the sun begins to burn out, which is a long time to go, buddies. So until then, we need to muscle up and go, look, it's really not that bad. We're scared of things that haven't happened yet for a long time. Oh, we don't know when these things are going to occur. We, no one knows a bally biscuit about anything, really. And it's really disturbing. And it's really weird. And I just, I, you know, I just want I came here to cook my pizzas. I need a beer. That we're all going through a lot. But what you've got to remember is that communication is key to your own tactile response with other human beings. We're not talking about the dodgy motherfuckers. The system is more aligned to process of those who are and aren't in a tune with various variables of vectors in an application of diligence, rectitude, grace and fortune in law in the occidental belt of reality more than you may well know since birth. And I'll leave it there. The fact of the matter if I can even discuss this this juncture, this juncture, a cigarette. How is this going to take? Oh my gosh! Right. Oh, don't get me started. Don't get me started, the Bulgarians. All the people of the Machu Picchu. There will be a lot of things to say about many things. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, there will be a lot of things to th say about many things in the future. It just stands to reason, doesn't it? It's quite logical, really, isn't it? There will be a lot of people, and therefore there's a lot of things to say in the future. So we haven't really grasped the new wave precision of fifth dimensional psychic telepathy, whatever you want to call it, ability to define consciousness into a new reality using Slipsis uber power. And that's why I came in. <laughs> Seen a thousand times, baby. And the point is, you ain't ever seen shit like me. You ain't seen, ever seen the real power of the vortex of the X-Men virtue in the uh, knowledge of circumspect utilization of time to wield communication in a moment in order to purely create pizza. But in this, I am using my tongue, my mode of thought, my consciousness to elaborate exactly what is going on in a very exciting realm of perception. Because if you don't get excited about the excitement of the forthcoming enjoyment of food, then what are you doing? What are you doing? <sighs> it is really exciting. And beer. It's, it's very exciting. Only takes 20 minutes or so to make. It's not even 20 minutes. I think it's less than 20 minutes. Oh, God. 
I'm riddled with enthusiasm for knowledge of further fodder. Aren't you, my delicate whispers into the dulcet ear of thought and time and divine matters, into the splendid harvest of creation for a myriad? And I say that lightly, don't I? Well, we'll have a peek in a second and see how the old fluids are doing. But they're not really fluids. These are the fluids. It was a subconscious slip of my consciousness to drop into what I really desired, which was a little bit. But I do desire foods too. And in this, and thus, and well celebrated, I think you'll find on this glorious Monday evening, on a random day in 2023, I'm still doing A-OK, -okay, given my large and up over the years, and what's and what's, and um, hilarious shenanigans. And actually, I'm in for a little bit of exciting Uber Grub. It's very exciting, it's very exciting. I'm not yet accustomed to how much I can generate a possible perpetual thrill on a random suburban daily basis. But in light of this beautiful, beautiful knowledge of systematic awareness, I am just attuned to the glory of the help of the brothers of the love of man. That's all I'm going to say. <coughs> you want to have beer, fags, pizza, TV, housing, plumbing, electricianism, <coughs> cookery, Knowledge of recipes, divinity, history, philosophy, religion, literature, bottle banks. Without all the love in the world of God, you're doing very well, my children of the Neo Dawn. You must be brave, you must continue. You must continue to survive this amazing reality. Because without us, what is a Tanya in a dead universe? And it's not dead. But if we're one of the last outposts of survival, then I think we better look after this planet. You know what I'm saying? Never mind. So the pieces are looking pretty good right now, and we're coming up to the final bend of the curvature of the pepperoni edges. And I would just like to say, given all the crumbs I've been through with the schizophrenic and years of sufferance and long-term isolation and a field of solitude, that actually, the benevolence of man and patience and beauty and history, and love, and family, and adore, and innocence, and sweetness, beyond the heart of anything, is the essence of the intergalactic glory of Mother Earth. It's the parts within our heart, God knows it, and when I pray to God, He put a particle in my heart, that's the reason I'm still alive today. I still drink, I still smoke, I do, I love it. But God put a particle in my heart after prayer. It came from the fifth dimension. And that was in 2017 when I was feeling really ill. But I'm not feeling ill now, I'm just feeling a little bit hungry. We've got a muscle on, you know, through this suburban reality. Good vexes. See, this is care in the community. This is awesome. I am, I've never, ha I've lived here. How many years? Well over a decade. And this is the best night yet I've spent in this part of the kitchen. Just chilling and telling you about how great life is. Whew. It's a magnitude of wonders, my friend. And apart from the blister on the back of my heel. And I think we're going to get through this tonight with grand aplomb. 
and many a hurrah to a faithful snigger. I said that right, baby. So let's do this. How are they doing? Still got a bit of a way to go, I think. But you know, it's like this is like a, this is like a really chill and nice event horizon. There's no horror here. It's like the anti-event horizon. I love that idea, don't you? When I bliss some bliss, peace and bliss, just revel themselves about my skull in a wanton way of localized floozy. And I just sit here, emanating and re reminiscing into the dulcet. Yes. The final succulents, the beef of the main potato, the glory and the whatnot, the delight in every bunching crumb. The delight in every munching crumb. how she swells. Look how she absolutely swells. It's dripping finery in her pepperoni goodness. Thanks to the glory of creation by humanity and their love. This is salvation people. This is humanity given.